Hey friends, welcome to this channel and welcome to this short review of the newly launched CMF Watch Pro 2 by Nothing. So this has been recently launched and uh, in this review uh, we will have a very brief uh, introduction to how the packaging is all about very quick one and then go to the various features of the app the CMF watch app and the actual watch itself so let's keep watching this so uh, this packaging is uh, quite uh, simple and quite light as compared to the other packaging of watches which we receive so it's uh, the box is pretty light it it's not made of hard cardboard and you have a seal over here so I uh, got it delivered from Flipkart yesterday and the watch was actually uh, launched uh, last Monday I think so uh, you get a tag over here and if you pull it out I've already done the unpacking uh, the screen is wrapped uh, around this uh, with this uh, butter papery like cover and uh, you have a user guide and if you pull this uh, apart then uh, you will find the charging cable uh, provided over here which uh, I have removed so you have the watch it's already set up but don't worry uh, we'll still explain it and uh, you have the charging cable unfortunately in spite uh, of paying around four and a half thousand uh, you don't get a magnetic dock uh, you have the typical one uh, which is connects the uh, cable uh, magnetic cable over here and then I'll just connect it to the power bank and you can see how uh, the look and feel is so you see you get some uh, animation over here and uh, it has started charging okay now we'll just uh, keep the uh, packing aside and uh, start with further review since I have already unpacked it and also configured it I will not go through the initial boot process uh, but uh, I will just show you uh, how the watch is built the silicone straps uh, are uh, really of very good quality as compared to any other watches which we generally see because when you wear it it uh, seamlessly slips through your uh, wrist and uh, even the buckles over here uh, are not uh, obstructive at all you can uh, change the straps by just uh, pulling uh, uh, in here and pulling uh, the straps aside uh, I know as part uh, CMF is also planning to uh, have uh, another bezel this is the sharp edged one you will also have the rounded one uh, so uh, here if you see there is uh, you have the branding CMF by nothing which is positioned at 7 o'clock uh, to remove this bezel you just need to hold it slightly twist it and see it comes out and here the next bezel can be fit uh, I've been told that the bezel and the strap set will come for something uh, 750 Indian rupees uh, but you may well have third party manufacturers who may be able to offer it at a lesser price so uh, once you position it over here once again you just need to uh, twist it once again and it gets locked so it's not uh, a thread where you need to keep turning it it's just a single um, kind of a twist uh, this is all an aluminium body you know, with the uh, mic uh, provided uh, over here and uh, let's uh, refer to what's given uh, as part of the uh, packaging it says that it's a 1.32 inch AMOLED display 100 plus watch faces I'm yet to find really 100 plus watch faces maybe they are speaking about the customization so this may well not be 100% true uh, it's not ready made watch faces but custom so 24 by 7 all round health monitor a typical feature with any smart watches 120 sports modes with uh, automatic recognition that's a good feature uh, it's got uh, 
GPS which is a multi-system GPS and uh, also a Bluetooth calling with the AI noise reduction. So it uh, advertises 11 days of battery life but uh, that's uh, all dependent upon which of the features uh, you turn in and turn off. Uh, okay, uh, after the initial physical build of the watch uh, which I just said, uh, I showed you. Um, uh, the screen is supposed to be a Corning Gorilla Glass one and uh, I generally use lot of Vaseline and moisturizers. So if you see around, uh, there's not too much of uh, smudge or fingerprint that's detected. So the screen quality uh, looks pretty good. I haven't yet thought whether to fix uh, uh, a scratch resistance sticker but uh, it's fine and uh, uh, this is a functional crown so as we progress with the review further I'll uh, explain that to you. Since I've already uh, configured it I'm not able to show it exactly the initial boot but uh, uh, it's pretty standard as compared to any smartwatch. Um, right now it's all set up so it's a CMF by nothing and within few seconds uh, you will see that uh, it comes to the watch screen so the boot process is pretty fast the first time uh, when you actually boot uh, you are asked for the language so you choose English then there's a QR code which is uh, nothing but what's printed here which is a link to the CMF uh, watch app and uh, once you install the uh, app, uh, it goes into a typical pairing mode. So now let's uh, switch uh, to the uh, CMF watch app. So on my phone, I have already installed and paired the uh, this watch. So this is the CMF uh, watch uh, app. Uh, pretty neat uh, interface uh, on this app. And uh, first time when you uh, run this app, it asks to configure your vital statistics and you can log in through Facebook or uh, Google. Uh, if you see here, you have uh, health monitoring, then uh, exercise uh, options, the basic, the main device and uh, this is again how to set your personal uh, settings over here. Uh, if you go to the settings, you can sync with other third party apps, one of which is Strava. I didn't find anything else. Uh, then you have uh, the option of background protection so that this app doesn't shut down on its own. So once you select this, you, you can actually uh, give the windows permission to run in the background and uh, what type of time you want whether a 24 hour or a 12 hour and rest is pretty standard the unit setting so th this is all asked when you initially uh, configure the app and uh, now let's see whether it's paired or not so if you go to the watch uh, option this is uh, how it looks it shows you the battery percentage since it's paired pairing is pretty simple the first time when you do uh, you just click add it goes into a searching mode uh, you select the watch and on the watch you accept the pairing request since it's paired I need not show you this and this will not work um, you have uh, the dial gallery over here uh, though it advertises 100 plus watch faces but I think so uh, those are more of custom ones so there are various categories and you can uh, customize uh, it uh, based on uh, what you like it but uh, pretty much most of them are uh, very beautiful and it has the typical uh, theme used by CMF which is black, grey, red and white so most of the dials uh, come with that uh, category okay then you have the common sports mode it which lists you which are the most common sports uh, you use on a daily basis i'm yet to explore uh, this section but uh, uh, i will rather show you uh, in share with you information 
which is necessary for your day-to-day -day, uh, usage other than just uh, from the sports perspective so you have health monitoring in health monitoring uh, you have uh, 24 by 7 uh, health monitoring which is uh, turned on and uh, you can tweak around with these settings based on what you actually need uh, for yourself if you want to have uh, ad hoc uh, health monitoring you can tune it accordingly because if you keep 24 by 7 on uh, you will have an impact on the battery lot more to configure here so you have blood oxygen level auto stress monitoring which I have kept it on uh, water reminder that whenever you are swimming it uh, it tells you whether you are hitting the water or not uh, stand up reminder this is uh, something interesting which I found uh, that how many times you sit and stand up it counts after health monitoring you have the contact se uh, section so I will not open it because uh, there I have all the numbers uh, shown so in the interest of privacy I will so in the contacts you can actually uh, sync 30 contacts from your phone and which gets synced to the watch uh, then you have the uh, widgets so these are the four standard widgets uh, you have which gets shown on the watch uh, dial so when we explore the interface and the UI of the watch uh, you will be able to uh, figure out what I am speaking about so one of these widgets is weather and uh, you have the steps uh, and the calorie burnt so there are various uh, sections over here activity steps so from the same section you cannot uh, select uh, two widgets it has to be from uh, different sections so I have uh, configured the widgets based on what I feel comfortable so I have uh, I have uh, one section which is of weather uh, the steps and calories and the other section about sleep uh, blood oxygen uh, level and also my heart rate the third one is the keypad uh, recent uh, contact uh, recent people who have dialed up and then the contacts last one is music stopwatch and outdoor run so this is entirely upon you how you actually want to configure it so I will not uh, spend much time on it uh, now comes the most uh, important thing on notifications so this is what uh, actually uh, sets you which are the apps which can send notifications uh, to your uh, watch uh, you also have another interesting option show messages only when the phone is locked so if you don't want all the alerts to come up but only when the phone is locked you can turn it on so here I have selected the list of apps which I feel uh, necessary and which will uh, help me in getting alerted on my watch Uh, now by default uh, even when you have paired the watch you will not have the calls routed uh, to your smartwatch so you need to uh, go to call reminder and select turn on call reminder so this is something a must which you need to do you also have the option of world clock by default this is blank I have uh, set uh, uh, the world clock with uh, around five cities across the globe uh, which is based on my preference and my working preference so you can add more by clicking on the add uh, button over here you can set an alarm too this is a feature which I may probably not use because uh, it's easier to manage on the smartphone you similarly have reminders these features are already available on the smartphone so nothing more to explain on this but one of the most interesting features I found is quick reply just like for text messages on phone you have this option 
so this watch though you cannot reply by typing messages but you can have some pre-configured quick reply messages uh, over here and with these whenever you receive whatsapp alerts that's what i have found so whenever you receive whatsapp messages and notifications uh, uh, on the phone uh, you can actually uh, these short messages are also available uh, on the smartwatch for you to reply to whatsapp messages i think this probably may also work with the default uh, text messaging app but i didn't try out uh, with any other app uh, to delete any of these pre-configured ones so i have actually customized it i have changed it uh, from the one which was already existing so you just need to swipe left and you can delete it and to add anything new just click on add uh, okay it says you can uh, keep only up to 10 messages so I already have those 10 configured but for example I will just uh, uh, if you want to delete uh, or kind of change a message so from hmm I can change it to anything and just click on confirm so then that list of quick reply messages uh, uh, gets populated uh, uh, over here this is a very interesting feature and when we explore the interface user interface on the smartwatch app you will come to know so uh, what else uh, when you click on more you have this option of find device do not disturb wake on wrist rays and workout detection most of these features are also available on the app itself and it's not necessary you need to actually configure it from uh, from here so in do not disturb you can uh, turn on the uh, dnd mode wake on wrist rays uh, basically what you uh, say uh, raise to activate screen so enable raise to wake so that's a wake on wrist uh, raise and you can also turn out automatic uh, uh, workout detection so whenever you're running um, or doing yoga or any of the workouts uh, this can enable you to automatically detect it plus you have find my device uh, which is here from the watch you can find out the phone and from the phone you can find out the watch so that's pretty much uh, it uh, on the uh, more section the first time when I uh, configured it uh, I was prompted that I have a new firmware upgrade this is one of the reasons probably I went for uh, a very reputed company uh, where you have uh, designers from oneplus like Carl Pei uh, who is the CEO of the company because uh, I initially had a Firebolt almighty smartwatch used for two years with absolutely no software updates uh, at all uh, and it uses smart time pro uh, not the best uh, in smartwatch management so I didn't like the interface of the app uh, not at all professional it looks like a basic shabby Chinese made app this is much wonderful uh, quite an intuitive user interface you have on the smartwatch app and now we will also look uh, into the smartwatch UI interface so back with my watch again I will just uh, wear the watch in front of you so if you see uh, this silicone uh, strap is very soft and smooth and things slip through easily as compared to other smartwatch bands uh, this is much smoother there's no roughness and that's the reason you can actually push uh, the bottom half of the strap very easily it slips through uh, quite easily and uh, here uh, is the smartwatch uh, once again and uh, I have currently set the display for uh, 20 seconds otherwise it just uh, turns off very quickly you can uh, 
the uh, you can tweak around with the settings by swiping from the top uh, you have the DND uh, similar to watch uh, what you saw uh, on the watch app it tells you whether you want to turn on DND or not then you have the battery saving mode whether you want to enable power saving or not raise wrist so you can wake on wrist raise which is whether you want to turn it on or off you can uh, toggle from here then you have the brightness settings remember this watch has a speciality you have the option of auto brightness also so you have five brightness levels and one auto level so this is the auto i found that the auto brightness level uh, is a little dim for my eyes so i haven't kept on auto maybe when i am in bright sunlight i can keep it on auto uh, i will ra i rather prefer keeping it on the settings brightness level 2 then you have the torch coming over here and if you see down there are various torch modes so this is the white uh, then this is the blinking white torch which you can use it uh, as an emergency alarm then you have red amber green uh, blue uh, this is dark blue a purple yeah that's it and uh, uh, this is a pink yeah uh, it, so I will again swipe back with all of these and come back uh, to the main menu once again uh, the settings can be activated from here so you see on the setting screen you have the uh, battery percentage the day uh, and the date uh, which comes on the top clicking on settings you have uh, many things to configure over here watch face settings app view uh, display and brightness sounds do not disturb quick ge gestures uh, haptic which is haptic feedback workout detection language system menu user guide and about so um, uh, let's uh, start with watch face settings so as the name uh, says uh, this is uh, to select your watch face uh, there are some pre-uploaded ones you can just swipe through it and select these or get it installed through the CMF watch app uh, in case of this uh, watch face or the dial uh, with the name slope time you can actually configure what you see uh, in the section of steps and the calories burnt so if you click on setting over here you get into the function mode you can just uh, select this and you can say I have selected steps to show on the top of the slope and going back to the previous menu in this watch is uh, quite uh, gesture based so you swipe from left to right and you come back to the previous menu similarly like I have selected steps you can uh, just click uh, on the second one and I have selected calories so this is one of the few watch faces uh, which is pre-built and uh, where you get to configure health statistics uh, on the main screen for most of the others, uh, okay, I need to. I, I think yeah, I am in function mode. Uh, that's the reason it so shows uh, red circles. I swipe back, so I'm in the main watch face selection mode. So this is an activity mode, prismatic time, multifunction. Yeah, this is another one. Uh, this watch face has pretty much lot of other information also. Yeah. Uh, so it shows you sunrise, sunset, uh, battery percentage, uh, blood oxygen levels. Today's was not measured, so it doesn't show. Uh, heart rate, the weather, number of hours of sleep, calories, 
uh, than uh, the days of the calendar. So after uh, having this watch face, I will go back to the uh, default one. Uh, you can actually change the watch face not just by going to the watch face settings, but just uh, keep your finger clicked on the current watch face and swiping and changing it. It is a standard uh, procedure which you do with all other smart watches too. So I'll go to the, uh, I'll swipe from the top. Oh, I just go to settings. So uh, we have already explored watch face settings and uh, next oh. why doesn't it go okay we next uh, go to the option of app view so this app view has two options which is default and grid view i'll show you uh, how it differs basically the different apps mini apps which you have in the watch can be accessed using the uh, crown over here so it is in default mode so when i uh, go back to the main screen and uh, press the crown from here so you will see uh, the different modes so either you can swipe uh, up and down or you can also uh, rotate the crown and just remember since the haptic uh, is turned on so i have a whatsapp message so since the haptic uh, uh, feedback is turned on every time i rotate and every uh, app when it crosses over i receive a vibration uh, over here so this is the default mode of uh, app view now i'll show you the grid uh, view so this is the grid view even here too you can uh, turn the crown it's an active crown and select the app uh, which you want to uh, access directly so uh, in the grid view you actually uh, get to see icons and uh, not the name of the app uh, it all uh, is basic personal customization and i leave it on you how you want to select it then you have the display and brightness while uh, from the initial shortcut over here you can directly uh, change the level of brightness but uh, you uh, also have few other uh, options over here in the brightness section and because it is display and brightness just remember that to access uh, to to activate your uh, always on display or aod you need to go to this setting i had to search quite a bit to uh, find out so one is auto screen off currently i have set it to 20 uh, for uh, recording this video otherwise you can customize it uh, I think 5 or 10 seconds uh, should be fine the only problem I find here as compared to uh, any other smartwatch is these are very discrete values so you have 5 10 15 20 uh, it doesn't give you a flexibility to select anything in between so I have a smart uh, uh, not a smart watch i should say a fitness uh, tracker uh, an honor band which uh, i have gifted it to my mom and there you can actually uh, have something like six seven seconds so anything between five and ten it's a big jump you know uh, and since uh, we need to optimize the power consumption uh, i will expect that uh, when cmf uh, sh uh, provides another software update we get more continuous values rather than these discrete values uh, then you also have a screen on on five minutes if you want to enable this feature so if you want to have the screen uh, turned on continuously um, then your race to wrist uh, uh, will get disabled and you can 
turn on for however long you want so you have 5 10 15 minutes but again this consumes a lot of battery so i don't think so it's wise to turn on this setting can i swipe left and uh, this is what i have been waiting for from a long time uh, my previous smartwatch uh, did not have always on display so i'm very excited to have that not only that it's not a single uh, always on display you have multiple watch faces which comes under the menu of watch face style and you have an enable method so before i show you the watch faces available for the always on display let's go to the enable method by default uh, i have close selected which means the always on display feature is not turned on then you can have a schedule set that between what and what time you can you want to have the always on display turned on uh, what the uh, option which I use is smart enable so this is very interesting uh, as CMS always al always says wearing a watch to sleep or detecting that the watch has been taken off will automatically turn off the standby watch face so uh, you know always on display consumes uh, extra battery so this uh, smart uh, feature is very interesting so currently I have my watch on the wrist and uh, I have selected smart enable uh, which is turning on the always on display now uh, if I just turn off the screen by pressing the crown uh, so I've set my watch to 20 seconds so you can see that uh, after 20 seconds the always on display will the main display turns off and AOD turns on the slope time interface is pretty nice I've loved it so this is the always on display the always on display though on this screen might appear a bit bright but uh, in normal uh, light LED light or sunlight it may well be a little dimmer uh, I think that's intentionally done just to conserve battery but there is no way where you can change the brightness of the always on display I have selected a watch face for always on display which shows the battery percentage the digital time and the analog time it's pretty simplistic now see I have the watch on my wrist so the always on display uh, still continues to show and as soon as I have uh, the raise to wrist the main uh, screen gets turned on now I will just uh, remove uh, my watch from the wrist and uh, keep it on the table over here So if you see, so as you can see, uh, the always on display gets uh, turned off when it is put on a flat surface or maybe uh, removed from wrist. So I will wear the watch once again and you will see how the always on display again gets activated. So the watch has woken up. Yeah, to the watch getting woken up and if you wait for uh, some time you will again see that the always on uh, display yes there you can see the always on display is uh, again turned on so this is a very the smart uh, enable feature is a very interesting feature which uh, smartly detects whether uh, the algorithms inside detect whether uh, your watch is on the wrist or on a flat surface so now I will permanently remove the watch uh, from my wrist and show you the rest of the interesting features you have uh, on this watch. So moving on from the always on uh, display option, I go to settings. So you have the explored watch face settings, app view, display and brightness is so in always on display we uh, saw the enable method now we will go into watch face style so uh, you have many uh, always on watch faces very interesting watch faces available I have really loved uh, 
the UI of this uh, watch as compared to any other smartwatch. So you will find numerous smartwatches in India floating around from Firebolt to Noise, Cull Sport. But at the end of the day, you have various uh, names uh, with which watches are getting launched. But it's the same UI because it's all built on uh, real-time OS. I hear that both uses Crest OS, but uh, I haven't really explored and seen uh, what better they have done on the software. So the user experience is much better when you have a good software and I trust that uh, CMF will really build on the and increase the user experience on the smartwatch. So you can see there are many always on display interfaces available here. So I'll go back to the one which uh, I originally selected which has the battery and the digital time over here uh, and just select this. So we have seen the display and brightness section and uh, another interesting one which I am always a fan of uh, is double tap to wake which I also use on my phone. So uh, double tap to wake is a feature when when the uh, screen is turned off and you want to turn on the screen back once again without uh, actually pressing the uh, crown because the more you press the crown uh, I believe it reduces the longevity uh, of the crown so uh, I always like to turn on devices using double tap similar to the phone I will I have enabled it on this uh, smartwatch too so now you see uh, you have the AOD watch face. Uh, uh, if I press the crown, the main screen gets turned on. I just do a double tap and you're back to the main screen. Uh, you get a warning when you turn on double tap to wait. So I turn it off. Whenever I turn on, it says this setting will drain the battery more uh, quickly. Enable it. So I select yes. Uh, initially I want to explore all settings and find out the one which is uh, best to use it which gives the best uh, user experience as well as optimizes the battery too. The next is sounds. So you can either set the watch to silent by selecting the silent option. So if you, you can hear this, uh, if I toggle this on and off you can hear a sound so when I turn off the silent feature you can hear the the beep sound so the watch gives these beeps whenever it receives any notification or calls uh, and you can increase the volume over here So this is the volume setting I have maintained uh, so that it's not uh, disturbing to the others especially when you are in office. Uh, you don't want to toggle around always increasing and decreasing the volume and don't want to cause inconvenience to the others. So we have explored sounds. Do not disturb. Uh, we saw it uh, through the shortcut. Plus you have option to turn it on always, you have an option to schedule it. I have currently scheduled it from 2 a.m. to 7 a.m. Uh, so that in case my watch is connected to the phone, I will not be disturbed by any alerts with these beeps. So the watch stays silent. Now comes the most interesting feature which probably is still not uh, configured to the best of its extent which is quick gestures so the watch currently supports two gestures which is rotate your wrist once and shake your arm which can activate few activities so I will show you by uh, what this means 
So rotate your wrist once is basically it says turn your wrist outward and inward by 90 degrees. So if you see uh, it shows you how it needs to be done. So basically it's um, like this and this quickly. So, uh, so it says first ensure forearms are parallel to the chest, have the screen facing up, quickly rotate wrist outward by 90 degrees then return to original position by quickly rotating uh, wrist inward. So I have tried this several times, it's a hit and a miss and I think uh, it's something to do with the algorithm which needs to be fine tuned. It's not yet perfectly working or maybe I have been unsuccessful in setting this on. So with this you can activate the following and uh, when you receive calls you can answer hang up the call, uh, reject calls or take no action. Similarly, it is context sensitive, so that is to do with calls. Uh, when you are listening to music, it can uh, you can fast forward to the next song, come back to the previous song, or perform no action. Similarly, with photograph, you if you have the camera app turned on on your phone, you can take a photo, or you can take no action. And last but not the least, you have an other sections, which is either open calculator, open voice assistant, open weather, uh, open exercise, open stress, open blood oxygen or take no action. So these are the standard context sensitive uh, actions which are available with uh, gestures. Just like rotate to uh, uh, rotate your wrist once, you also have the option of shake your arm when you can configure similarly. Uh, this action still seems to work sometimes more frequently than how uh, uh, rotate your wrist works. So it says uh, ensure forearms are parallel to the chest, have the screen facing up and your palm facing down. Shake your arm horizontally twice moving it back and forth in front of you. So it's basically, so you can see this. I think it worked somewhere, so it's, ah, there you see, I have uh, set weather uh, to be triggered when I shake my wrist, else it can answer my calls, uh, so weather has, uh, the uh, weather app has triggered, which means my shake of arms has worked, so I will show you once again, yes, so this is something which has worked which I am pretty happy with and uh, it helps you sometimes answering the calls. So if you see, uh, I'll go back to the shake your uh, um, option. So I have set that uh, when there is a phone call received, I want to shake my arm to answer or hang up call uh, and I want to skip to the next song uh, when I am listening to any music take a photograph and in case of other I want the weather app to be triggered. So since no other action is currently being performed, uh, it is triggering uh, the open weather, uh, it's opening the weather application. So this is something which is working but maybe I'll have to further try on the uh, move, uh, what is that, I forgot. Uh, rotate your wrist once that uh, is something which is currently not working so this is uh, one of the very unique features which is currently probably not available with most other smart watches so before i bought the smart watch i was also looking into buying uh, huami ms fit uh, uh, gts2 new version though it's currently priced at 8000 rupees in amazon it may well go down slightly in the price. It's got more of sensors, but uh, it's just like following the rat race. People either buy uh, the budget-friendly smartwatches, which is which comes in 2,500 uh, range from Noise, Bolt, Cultsport, and many other vendors, or go for Huami, which is uh, the less premium ones, uh, but they are pretty expensive. So I didn't want to invest so much on smartwatch, but the CMF Watch Pro 2, I think uh, just 
answers all my questions and has all the features that uh, I currently require. Okay, moving on further. So after quick gestures, we uh, have the haps haptics section, uh, which as the name suggests, uh, triggers the vibrator. Uh, you have off, you can turn it off if you are sensitive to battery usage, set it to strong or standard. I personally recommend that you can have the standard setting set in since it's closely uh, attached to your wrist you uh, can actually uh, feel the vibration workout detection whether to turn it up automatically on and off this is something also available on the CMF watch app language is something you set uh, at the beginning and you have the system menu where you can restart power off reset or a pair a new phone uh, if I just restart you can see uh, how quickly uh, it gives a small haptic feedback and uh, it just uh, restarts it's probably just uh, four to five seconds uh, it takes it's uh, m much faster than most other smart uh, watches uh, in this category and then if you see you have the user guide so when you click on user guide it actually gives you a QR code which you can scan and check the user guide so it's the same one basically this is the user guide which has the basic way how to set the watch but this user guide is quite basic it tells about the different uh, sensors and crown it's just two or three pages per language uh, it doesn't uh, since it's a user guide it j doesn't speak much about the watch specific like the aluminium body the rotating crown uh, and uh, uh, the scratch resistant glass I'll have to really find out a place where it is officially mentioned about the build specs okay double tap to wake and uh, you have about again I don't go to about because it uh, exposes the serial number uh, and uh, other regulatory details something uh, which as per my privacy reasons I will uh, avoid sharing it okay I think uh, that's pretty much uh, it with regards uh, to the uh, settings now uh, we will uh, explore before we go to the widgets section I will show you um, another thing which is about uh, the messages so uh, when you swipe left uh, and right you can actually uh, uh, swipe across the widgets but before coming to that uh, I will check on the notification messages if you just swipe down you can see all the uh, messages uh, over here whatsapp as well as text for whichever you have set alerts I have also set uh, alerts uh, for X and this is just a preview uh, if you click you can uh, actually uh, see the message uh, you can see how excellent quality uh, the screen is you can uh, get the contrast uh, of uh, the text is to the screen uh, so there's an option for ignore as well as there's an option for quick reply this is what I showed you earlier so with quick reply uh, I found out that it worked for whatsapp and now I see it also works for X uh, which was earlier known as Twitter uh, these are some of the standard quick replies which I had configured through the watch app and now as soon as uh, I click any of these it will get sent so I will uh, not reply to this because I'm uh, I, have, I don't want to publicly reply to any messages as such but uh, for testing purposes I will uh, uh, try to show you how nicely we can manage the quick replies I will send a message from uh, uh, another phone and uh, show you uh, okay uh, 
Uh, I will uh, send uh, a message from another phone and uh, then uh, respond back uh, to it. So now from my mom's phone, I'll send a WhatsApp uh, message to my phone, which is currently connected uh, to the watch. I send hi. So the screen is turned off. Okay, so you can see hi or maybe if I am on the main screen. Uh, can we speak? Okay, so that's a message from my mom's phone. So this is how I am going to reply. I just swipe from down. So I have all these messages uh, and uh, I just click here. Uh, this is the sign for quick reply which is basically a message icon uh, with a thunder uh, sign over here and I just click on this. So the standard ones which I said I am on another call, will call you later, I am in a meeting. So what I can say is uh, uh, I'm on another call will call you later so I just click here so it says uh, send successfully now you I will go back to the to my mom's phone so as you can see from her whatsapp she just sent hi can we speak uh, uh, that's my response. I am on another call. will uh, call you later. So this is uh, a very interesting feature on quick reply where you are not dependent on your phone actually to respond. You can straight away uh, reply from your watch. So you just need to judge what are the typical kind of replies you want to give because you know there's a limitation of 10 quick replies which you can save and you can use it very diligently. So we have explored quick reply as uh, as I said that accessing uh, f swiping from the top gives you these shortcuts how to set your smartwatch. Similarly, for so someone's calling, I need to just so swiping from top uh, gives you these options uh, of D and D. Uh, power saver, brightness, raise on wrist, settings and torch. Uh, similarly, swiping from bottom uh, gives you all the messages which you have notifications which uh, you have uh, set uh, over here, or text messages and every other thing. And you can either delete all of them or you can ignore it also. So I can select uh, individual one and do an ignore. As soon as I do ignore it, um, vanishes from the notification tray and if I want to delete all of them I just uh, click on delete over here and it shows you new, notifi uh, new notifications so all the notifications have disappeared now now uh, we uh, go to last but not the least uh, feature of this uh, smartwatch which is which are the widgets so as I showed you from the CMF watch app we can actually uh, configure the widget so I'll show you the uh, watch app once again so on the CMF watch app just uh, recollecting back on the uh, on the smartwatch uh, tab you can go to widgets and these are the four standard ones uh, as I said you can use them uh, to configure for music so this is music related, this is health related, this is weather uh, and steps and you also have uh, the phone related, the calling uh, features. So uh, we, will explore, uh, we will explore this from the uh, watch user interface now. So on the watch main screen, if you swipe left and right, uh, you can just uh, uh, swipe through the 
you can swipe through all the screen and the widgets you see how interesting it is the weather the number of steps calories burned can be shown uh, then here you have the number of hours you have slept the your spo2 level and the heart rate so since it's not measured for me from quite some time it doesn't have sufficient information here you have the recent uh, the keypad and uh, the contacts so again i won't open the contacts uh, tab because it exposes all the numbers that i have uh, shared similarly with recents uh, similar to your phone call log you can actually see who has recently called you uh, from keypad uh, you can dial in uh, to any number that you want so this is some uh, uh, this is a feature which is slowly getting introduced uh, to most smart watches that other than having contact save if you remember the number you can st uh, straight away uh, dial in so uh, for example uh, uh, i can just uh, call the airtel number which is 121 and you can uh, see the clarity of the welcome to airtel airtel 5g plus is now live for post paid related queries press 1 for Airtel Wi-Fi, press 2. For prepaid related queries, press 3. For Airtel Digital TV services, press 4. So I have just uh, hung up the call. Uh, I just wanted to, if you have seen, there are three main buttons which you generally uh, get uh, when you call up any number. This is to hang up which can also be done using shake your arm gesture then you have mute and then you have the speaker so you can you can control the speaker unfortunately as uh, compared to other smart watches this is a feature which is missing in the smart watch where you can toggle the call from the phone a ha handset to the smartwatch uh, you for doing that you need to go to your phone to actually uh, change uh, switch the call back for example I will give you an example for this so you see I have the so, dialer over here as well as the phone so now I will just do one to one uh, I can delete just like and initiate a call so what you hear is from the smart watch if you want to switch to the phone I cannot I don't have a button over here to switch to the phone I just need to click here do a speaker over here video. so now I am on the phone and if I want to switch back uh, to the smartwatch app I just I have switched uh, over here so I, I think uh, it is again a software feature which can be enabled uh, by CMF in new, near future where you have an option to toggle speaking between the smart watch and the uh, phone by seamlessly uh, pressing the button. Nevertheless, this is not a showstopper. Uh, now I am going to call my sister and just check. Uh, how well uh, she can hear because this smartwatch comes with AI noise cancellation so just give me a minute so I'm just uh, calling my uh, sister uh, in the interest of privacy I'm just uh, hiding the screen to conceal her number hello hello is this uh, Jonaki speaking Okay, hi. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing great. You tell me. So, uh, I'm calling you from my newly launched uh, CMF Watch Pro 2 uh, smartwatch. And uh, there 
there is a little bit of uh, noise all around and i am speaking with you are you able to hear me very clearly i can hear you clearly but uh, it sounds like you are talking from a, a slight distance yeah that's uh, okay so i bring uh, the mic closer to uh, yeah i am currently recording a video which uh, just demonstrates uh, how well the calling feature is from this uh, smart watch so for the users i just wanted to uh, give them a true experience uh, about the quality of the speaker and also uh, on the mic and it would be nothing better than speaking with you uh, who is able to give uh, a very transparent review of how things work right. okay i think it's sounding very clear yes uh, everything sounds perfect and uh, i also do not hear uh, too much of noise in the background which i generally hear otherwise from a normal phone call okay that's really uh, great to uh, hear uh, and i think uh, my viewers will really be interested for this uh, feature because uh, it has uh, ai uh, noise cancellation built uh, uh, into it so thank you so much for your time and uh, hopefully your feedback uh, interests other users have a nice day bye bye thank you thank you thank you bye bye so that brings us to the end of this uh, quick review of the newly launched cmf uh, watch pro 2 uh, hopefully for the minor misses that we have in the software with regards to the calling and the brightness levels which i explained during this demo uh, rest all is very perfect and as compared to any uh, other budget smart watches that you have the ui on the uh, app as well as the smart watch is just very nicely made and uh, Uh, we hope cmf will keep pushing software updates if not for the next 2 or 3 years but at least for the next 6 months to 1 year to ensure that this is a good return on uh, investment because uh, at the initial launch price i have bought it for something around 4500 i i i will also eagerly wait for the uh, little roundish bezel and the strap to be released uh, soon Uh, hope you have li- hope you like this video and uh, this video will help in deciding you whether you want to buy the newly launched CMF Watch Pro 2 do subscribe to this channel and do share your feedbacks on the comment section below and i'll be more than happy to assist you answering your questions thanks and have a great day ahead bye bye